In this video, I'm gonna show you how I shoot my videos. I'm gonna go through all the lighting equipment, the camera that I use, my microphone setup. The setup is actually super simple, so let's get into it. Greetings, Aqua fam, it is Ben Aqua. So if you're not subscribed already, you know what to do. Smash the like button, subscribe. You can also support me in other ways, such as listen to my music on Spotify and buy some merch in my shop. So right now you're seeing my most recent studio setup. This is like my YouTube kind of space that I have made. It consists of a small system of lights. So maybe I can turn off the lights and just kind of show you what it looks like without the special lighting that I use. So let's turn that one off. And then there's the backlight here. You can already see there's a pretty huge difference. And then I have a little remote control that turns off these main lights. So if I didn't use any extra lights in my studio, it would look like this, which is very dark. Looks almost like a sci-fi or a horror movie. I'm not trying to scare y'all. So let me turn the lights back on. You can see the difference. So I start with the ambient light here, and then I'll turn on the backlight and then the main light is this one right here I think that looks pretty good it looks pretty even and I'm able to shoot on my camera at a very low ISO of 100 so that there's you know less graininess the image looks nice and crisp so let's switch over to my phone now where I will be filming this entire setup and show you piece by piece what I'm using to create these videos so first let's talk about cameras. So I'm using the Sony a6400 camera body right here. And I have a Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 lens attached to the Sony a6400. And why I use this particular camera is it has amazing quality. First of all, it shoots in 4K. I can shoot by 4K, 24 frames per second videos really nicely on this. And it has really good autofocus specifically for faces. So right now it's basically set to autofocus on my face really nicely, no matter how I move forward or backward. That's really important to me in my videos. And that's probably the main reason why I use the a6400 because the autofocus is amazing on it. And then you can see on the side of the a6400, I have this little thing dangling down, which is plugged into the mic input. This is the Rode Wireless Go wireless mic system. So this is actually the receiver. So the microphone is actually right here under my neck, kind of hidden under my shirt, which transmits my audio to this receiver, which goes into my Sony a6400. So that's the basic camera and microphone setup. The camera is attached to this tripod called Synvitron Q666, I believe, and it works really well. It's like, I think $50 on Amazon. And by the way, I will link to everything I'm talking about in the description below. So be sure to check that out. So the main light that you see on my face and kind of the foreground um, of my videos, which is also called the key light, your main light, this is a Viltrox L132T. And it's a really amazing, just kind of inexpensive, battery operated light. It comes with this kind of like honeycomb-ish pattern on the front, which is a diffuser screen. And it's really small, like you can see my hand and you can see, you know, the general size of this light. And I like that it can really easily attach to this light stand and it's portable. Like I could take this off and just kind of light other situations too. You know, it's not the softest light in the world, but it definitely creates a little bit of softness. To me, this light creates enough softness to kind of make my face look flattering and soft and not create too harsh of shadows. So this is my main light right here, the Viltrox 132T. And then this light right here is bouncing a little extra light off of the ceiling right here onto my desk area down here. Just kind of creates like an ambient light. This is the Yongnuo YN300 Mark III LED video light. And what's cool about this too, is it works on a system of Bluetooth. So I can use this little remote, turn these lights on and off. And when I say these lights is because I have one over here and then I also have another one back there. And they're the same exact light and they can communicate wirelessly via this little remote control. So in other words, I can turn them both off and on at the same time. So that's really cool. And the backlight just basically creates a little bit more ambience in the background of my shot. So the fourth light that I use is this light down here, which is an RGB, just like LED light. I've reviewed this before. This is the P1 Vlogger by Bowling. This is a really amazing USB-C powered 
slash battery operated RGB light. And as you can see, it's set to a blue tone right now, but you can see it has like the RGB stuff going on there. So you can actually change this blue light to whatever color in the spectrum of the rainbow that you want. But this light right here, I basically just set on the corner of my table. So it's not ideal, obviously, but it just creates like a general blue, you know, kind of cast to the background. So if I turn that off, the background just looks kind of normal and you know, it looks fine, but to me it looks a little uninteresting. And if I add the blue, all of a sudden it changes the texture of everything going on in the background. And it also brings out my skin tone in the foreground. So you can see kind of like, you know, my skin tone going on here with the blue. I think my skin tone looks nice and pops against that blue background, which is why I like to use blue back there. And then also back here, is another light, which is just a kind of like cheap Amazon rainbow LED light. But really this is what I'm using. So you can see down here, that's the LED light creating that blue cast in the background. And then my main light is this light right there, which casts the light on my desk and on my body. And then the Yongnuo light over here is the one that bounces off the ceiling and kind of creates a little more ambient light for the scene also. The ambient light back here, created by the second Yangnuo YN300 Mark III, which bounces off the wall and just kind of creates some ambience back here. And then you see my camera, of course, over there with the microphone attached to it. The camera and the lens are the most expensive thing by far, but this light, I believe it's like $30, $40. This light down here is a little expensive, but you can buy this on Amazon. There's actually cheaper versions of this that are under $100. So yeah, as you can see, that's actually a pretty easy setup, right? I just have a main light, I have a backlight, I have the rainbow accent light, I have my camera with the microphone attached to it, then I have these ambient lights kind of going in the front and the back to create a little more extra light, and that's how I film my videos. It's not incredibly complicated, but it does take a little bit of maneuvering, like where you place the lights and stuff has a lot to do with how your skin tones will reflect shadows and that kind of thing. So if you have any questions about my setup, let me know in the comments below. Again, I will link to all the gear that I'm talking about in the description below, so be sure to check those links out it helps support my channel i hope this video was helpful for you if it was smash that like button below smash the subscribe button and the notification bell hit me up on instagram or tiktok search for bent aqua on there and also on spotify this and that all my links and stuff are in the description below thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one